to ban abortion nationwide. Oh, he will. You know, Kamala and Tim will do everything they possibly can. That's why you have to elect a Senate and the House to restore Roe v. Wade. Taking away our freedom to control our bodies, the freedom to become a mother through IVF like I did. Abortion at the forefront of the Democratic National Convention this week, both inside the United Center in Chicago and on the city streets. Planned Parenthood of Illinois brought a mobile bus offering free chemical abortions, free vasectomies, birth control, and more at the start of this week. The pro-abortion organization says it's a demonstration of what they define as health care. A pro-life presence did make itself known right next to the bus to combat the false narrative of choice. Your baby loves you. You don't have to do this. This is not your only option. Your baby's heart beats for you. They love you so much. They feel everything you're feeling. They can feel how scared you are. We know that you're scared, but it's going to be okay. We can help you. A group called Progressive Anti-Abortion Uprising, or POW, held signs, chanted, and used a bullhorn to reach out to women considering an abortion and offer to help get them the resources they need to choose life. The Democrats for Life of America also challenged Planned Parenthood's political grandstanding by offering free diapers to Chicago families in need. On Twitter, Kristen Day, the executive director of Democrats for Life of America, wrote, Providing free abortions at the DNC is a concerning display of disrespect towards human life and motherhood. She goes on to say, quote, It's just shameful how low Democrats have sunk. SBA Pro-Life America is calling the 2024 Democratic Party platform the most pro-abortion platform in history. They say the Democrats make promises of national legislation to allow abortion in every state, enshrining abortion with no limits in the U.S. Constitution, expansion of delivery of chemical abortion drugs through the mail, and efforts to force ER doctors to carry out abortions, to name a few. The Illinois Right to Life organization is also speaking out about the pro-abortion stance of the DNC, calling it an anti-life and anti-family event. In a press release, the president also called out Chicago Archbishop Cardinal Blaise Supich for delivering the invocation prayer on opening night. Mary Kate Zander wrote, The Harris Waltz ticket is the most pro-abortion presidential ticket in U.S. history. Cardinal Supich missed a clear opportunity last night to condemn their vile, murderous policies and, in effect, betrayed the vibrant pro-life community that he once aligned himself with in our state. Cardinal Supich's opening prayer focused on uniting Americans. He said in part that we are united by our aspirations of life, freedom, justice, and unbound hope. He did not, however, make any mention of abortion or the Planned Parenthood clinic offering abortions outside of the DNC. For more coverage of the Democratic National Convention and the elections overall, head over to the National Catholic Register website at ncregister.com. Their reporter Peter Laffin is on the ground providing more in-depth details of convention speeches.